So this gentleman has a uh, cystic head lesion, no history of pancreatitis, asymptomatic, which appears to be slightly growing uh, on CT. On what come on see? Is there any sense that it's on the bush? So a big balloon, go to the back of the throat, tip down, it pulls you into the mouth. Hold on, there we go. Okay, have a name school we see. Have a name just a call, I'll come school. Okay. Essayez vraiment d'avaler, s'il vous plaît. Encore un scoop. He's not really swallowing. Encore un scoop. Mettez votre tête vers l'avant, s'il vous plaît. Avalez un scoop. Swallowing. Let's give him another break here. Hold on a sec. Okay. Okay, I've got a scoop here. Push the head to the left, I've got a scoop. Got to be patient, there we go. I've got a scoop. He's swallowing, but it's just not really going in the right place. Let me try on this side. Encore un petit coup ici, avalé. Encore un petit coup. C'est presque passé. OK. Encore un petit coup. Merci. OK, there we go. So you never want to push too hard. You really have to get them to swallow a little bit. I think having the balloon up uh, just makes it safe, much safer. Things slide in better. OK, so there's his liver torquing. There's the portal vein right here. You can see his bile duct going down into the head. There's the cystic lesion, okay, and the bile duct is right there, I believe, okay, I oh, sorry, it's right there, okay. So again, we've pretty much got the whole thing done already from the stomach. This lesion is uh, nonspecific. I'm looking to see if there's a communication with the main pancreatic duct. Certainly his duct over here looks okay. Let's just go out to the tail and make sure there's no synchronous lesions. If you see multiple cystic lesions, uh, some people suggest that's uh, pretty much uh, more consistent with a IPMN than, than so anything else. I'm not sure there's any data to really support that, but uh, there's his PD again. Okay, so you can see the PD is, is, da is going down here underneath the cyst. We're going a little closer, put the frequency up. Yeah, it's really going underneath. I don't see a clear communication, but it can be really there. There might be a small one right there. There might be a small one just right, just right there. I'm not sure. Okay. So again, I don't think this patient has seen a surgeon. So before I needle this, I think uh, he needs to be seen by a surgeon. Uh, there, we're going to the bulb, okay? Uh, go left, there's the portal vein right here. And then once you're deep in the hilum torque right, and you'll see the bond that coming down there, going down, down, down to the papilla. He also has some signs of uh, chronic pancreatitis as well. And there's the cystic lesion here. We can see it again from here. It's got a little bit of septation in it as well. So again, this is a really non-specific lesion to me. It's not clearly mucinous. Again, there's a little bit of regular septations, which to me suggests more of a serous lesion. But it, to me, it's not a tip, you know, it could be an IPMN, but it's not a typical I IPMN to me. And it's also not a typical location for an IPMN either. So I've gone underneath here. Uh, actually, from here it is more typical, hold on. This is in the incident here. There's a little bit of a ground glass appearance here, which for me, that suggests more of an IPMN though. And there's a sort of a multi -sys. It looks a little more globular here, so that's more IPMN-like to me. Okay. So it is in the place for an IPMN. It is sort of in the onset here. And the PD though, looks like it's going like sort of right over it with no 
clear communication uh, as far as I can see, and no mural nodules. When they're this size, I find it's pretty unusual to see mural nodules. So I, th I think this is, um, is an IPMN. It's in the right place. It's got the look. He does have some features of chronic pancreatitis. It is a lobular pancreas, but I think it is probably an IPMN. But the, but the thing is, it's still a side branch IPMN, and overall, the prognosis is really good for these things. So I think, again, he should probably just be followed by uh, MRI. And even if it's growing, if he doesn't have mural nodules or anything, I don't think there's any point in intervening at this point because he's looking at a Whipple.